What's up guys? In this video, we're going to be looking at some possible endings to the entire Zombies storyline. And also, which real life events such as this one right here, could play a huge influence on where we're going to go next in the storyline. One of the coolest and strangest things that we've ever had in the zombie storyline, which is still unexplained, is the Nuketown Zombies loading screen. Now, I have two theories about this loading screen. The first of these two theories is that this is a spaceship type of craft, and they are literally blowing up a crater that we see in Nuketown and extracting element 115. Now, I know what you're thinking, guys. Spaceships in zombies... That's ridiculous. But there is actually blueprints of a Vril Saucer on the chalkboards inside the Giant and also Doris. We are going to be referencing these chalkboard drawings a little bit later on in this video as well. But let's keep going with this theory. But the second theory is much more interesting. As we see, this spaceship has something dropped and absorbing energy through the air. Let's compare that image to this image. This is Nikola Tesla's free energy machine. The goal of this invention was to generate crazy amounts of electricity and send them through the air into cities so cables and plugs that we see in our devices today would be obsolete. But unfortunately for him, the machine burnt out within a couple of minutes and his tests were never completed. But could this be the same machine? Nikola Tesla's real-life blueprints for this machine can be found on the chalkboards on Doris and also the Giant. During Black Ops 2, we power up three towers. Transit with the Tower of Babel, Die Rise and also Buried. Just like Nikola Tesla had planned for his invention. But what benefit would this have? My explanation to this is that this isn't for free energy. It's actually used in the same way as a Gersh device. A Gersh device will open up a black hole and pull in everything in its way. This large device we see on the Nuketown loading screen is actually there to pull the entire world in. We know that Rick Toffin is traveling to different dimensions to stop different versions of himself. And we can assume that Nuketown is in the same dimension as Transit. Because we hear the bus horn from Transit on round 5 of Nuketown. Rick Toffin played us for fools in Black Ops 2 Easter Eggs. And at the end of Buried's Endgame, he got what he wanted. There is nothing left in that dimension for him. So therefore, he just used this device to destroy that universe and acts like it never existed, crossing it off his map never to be thought of again. The crazy thing is, someone replicated Nikola Tesla's free energy for the world device, and this is the image that he caught. It looks exactly like the generators from Origins, and also some of the things that we see inside the Dirt Eyes and Drag trailer as well. The Philadelphia experiment was an experiment carried out by the US government during World War II. They attempted to allow this boat, the USS Eldridge, to become invisible. Their theory behind achieving this was to fit the boat with six large generators. These worked with the aspects of the unified field theory. If we look at Origins, there was also six large generators that we had to power up. And if we see the same sort of situation in Der Eisendrack, we can assume that Rick Toffen is trying to cover up his tracks, which would assume that something or someone is following him, possibly indicating that the Rick Toffen that we are playing with is actually just another bad Rick Toffen, and the good Rick Toffen is fastly approaching our location. Is all of this going to lead to a huge standoff between different versions of our favourite crew on a remake of moon or even the final dlc in the zombies franchise altogether the final thing i wanted to add into this video is that a lot of the black ops 2 easter eggs were based around mc escher's paintings we see this symbolized with the tower of babel mostly from transit i also managed to find an mc escher painting called the castle in the sky and it looks exactly like this image that we managed to get inside one of the black ops 3 teaser trailers the meaning behind this mc escher painting is actually that the castle in the sky is heaven it's the glory place is where you want to aim to get to in life 
if we look at the character below, they're praising that castle. Which reminds me a lot of the image we got from Origins with the word Primus on the bottom. The people are praising the characters from the giants. So maybe the castle that we're going to go to in Der Eisendrag actually has more significance in the zombie storyline than we already know. But let me know what you think about this theory, guys. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like. We are aiming for 500 likes on this video. If you are brand new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button to become the latest member of the Pizza Club. And as always, guys, thank you for watching and peace out.